Hi Cancer, welcome to the channel, welcome to Angel Love 333, or welcome back. I hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your messages from Spirit and the Angels. Please know this reading can be about any area of your life. Now in the description box, details below how to contact me if you'd like to get a personal reading. Also details how to enter my personal reading giveaway as well. I do give away ooh, personal readings each month. So with that, let's get started with your reading, Cancer. Please show Cancer the messages that they need to know. What does Cancer need to know? Okay, so let me just pull your messages here. Again, can be about any area of your life, love, career, you could be, you know, both. Um, so we will see what the messages are there for you. Now this card here, uh, messages from spirit. Uh, I am going to read one message here at the end. So I'm going to just pull this message before we start. I'm going to stick it there. And with that, let's get started here. Cancer. Okay, so you have the six of Ariel. It says material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So as it, it relates to money and career, this may be a good sign that like your money is going to come into balance. Okay, so if you've been feeling like maybe more money is going out than what's coming in, right? Um, I also see this as my payout card. So this could be money coming in too. Also, this could be somebody headed, you know, doing something nice for you, doing something kind for you. We got the two of Ariel. We have, it's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once and making work fun. Okay, so this can be that juggling energy counselor. So you may be juggling a lot of things or upcoming here, there may be a lot of different things you're juggling. But again, it's a card of balance and I was just talking about balance. So something in your life, right? It does feel like could be... Um, there it feels like there could be a progression of something coming into balance here yeah look at that six of michael that's telling me that things are going to get better it's the light at the end of the tunnel breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans relocation or travel all right so if some of you have been wanting to travel but feeling like you just didn't have the money to do that that can be an indication here so i'm really picking up around money and career um, you know, if you've been feeling like things have been a little bit rocky, unbalanced, or <clears throat> your money situation isn't where you want it, it's telling me the situation's going to get better. Also, if this is around love, again, can also be an indication that, um, right, whatever your situation you're dealing with is going to balance out. Now on the bottom of the deck here, you have perspective number 12, and it says there is a better way, pause for reflection and insight and dare to be different. So I feel like spirit is also guiding you here, Cancer. Look at different alternatives, maybe ways that you can change your situation. So if you're not feeling like things are unbalanced or you're not liking the way things are, I feel like Spirit is saying, right, don't be afraid because the next card you have here is Leap of Faith. Don't be af afraid to do or dare to be different or do something different here. It says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart and do what gives you joy, all right? And then I'm just gonna say the next card you have is the wheel. And it says new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So cancer, I feel like, like I said, this is a progression here. And I feel like what you don't see is that there are going to be changes here. But you also have to be able to look at things from a different perspective or change um, the way you're doing things. Okay, so let's uh, pull some tarot. Let's see what other messages come out for you, cancer. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Please show Cancer what they need to know. What other messages does Canceria and the beautiful Canceria need to know? What does Cancer need to know? Okay, so we have the two of pentacles, finding that balance. Again, maybe you're juggling a lot of things. Yeah, the magician, making it happen. Okay, so I feel like you're manifesting here, right? Finding your balance in a situation. Let's see what else here. There may be something too you're having to make a decision okay there may be two options here as well 
Let's see what else. Queen of Swords, yeah. Listening, um, right, uh, to your intelligent self here. Detaching emotionally. Could also be a sign of communication. Let's see what else we get here. Oh, yeah, Knight of Wands. Okay. So there could be something here, right, that maybe um, you're really motivated, you're excited to do, right? That could be changing the perspective here. This also could be, right, finding your balance again, right, in a situation. So maybe in your career, in your job, maybe you weren't feeling motivated for some of you, right? Maybe not, this is an example, not feeling motivated, but now um, you start to feel your balance, right? You start to see things maybe somehow changing or you're feeling better about it and then you start getting motivated and excited again some of you i feel like this could be somebody coming into your life could be somebody returning into your life could be friend family love situation a lot of you may be a lover here but i see communication okay so it could be a situation was imbalanced in the past now somebody here is coming back into your life. Let's see what else we get here. But it also can be just you feeling really motivated again, like you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So let's see what else we have for you, Cancer. There you are, the chariot. Okay, okay, Knight of Swords. All right, some of you I feel like too. Um, maybe you haven't been able to travel in the past and maybe, um, you know, maybe the money here was not, maybe you couldn't travel because of money reasons or something like that. Six of Ariel, there could be somebody who helps you out if you've been wanting to travel, but I just strongly too also get here, someone coming towards you with communication. This could also be someone saying that they want to come visit or they want to, uh, come see you, right? They're going to be traveling near you. Like I said, could be friend, family member, love situation. Let's see what else comes out here. What else can you share with cancer? What else can you share with cancer? Okay, four of pentacles. Okay, be practical with your money there. Um, let's see what else. Ten of wands. Yeah, they're telling you to be practical with your money is what I'm getting there. Okay, especially too if you've been feeling right that there you haven't felt like your money is where you want it to be you have the six of cups okay and you also have here the page of wands all right so i says here for some of you somebody is returning here this could be somebody who um may have held back from um may have held back from you know reaching out to you it does feel like this could be somebody from your past somebody who wants to catch up with you communicate here again with the page of wands and for some of you i feel like if you've been struggling to with money here um, or like your career or some other situation in your in your life it's showing me you're going to start to feel optimistic again you're going to start to feel excited again so let's see what else okay look at that four of wands beautiful look at that and the six of swords again telling me things are going to get better so something here i feel cancer with the four of wands and the six of swords you're headed um it feels like you're headed in the right direction towards something i feel that's going to make you really happy something stable here i'm just going to say some of you could even be new love it doesn't have to be a past person this could be a soulmate energy as well all right, I just feel like I have to pull a few more tarot cards and then we're going to go to your other messages, okay? So it may be if this is someone returning, as long as they are healthy for you, I'm going to put in there, right? And it could be friend, family member, love situation, what have you, okay? There's something about looking at it in a different perspective, all right? So maybe um, maybe emotions got away in the past and you need to detach emotionally, um, maybe this person lived at a distance and you didn't like that, right? Um, there's just something here that they're saying to maybe try and do things a little bit different this time if this is somebody you know, okay? Same thing goes too. If this is a love situation and this is someone who is new coming into your life or this is some sort of new uh, idea or something you want to do for your career, okay, or project that you have, Okay, I feel like they're telling you to be passionate about it, be optimistic about it, 
because it does feel like this is something too could take off pretty quickly whatever this is for you so let's uh you could even hear from a friend or family member i get here too someone may even ask you to travel with them let's see what else i know i'm rattling off here but okay we have justice we have the empress We have the Four of Swords, and let's pull one more. Oh, and we have the Tower. Okay, so what I'm getting here, uh, Cancer, for those of you that this is someone coming towards you, there may be some sort of com confession, some sort of communication, something here um, that this person maybe wants to be honest about. They want to communicate. You do have the six of wands here. So I feel like they're hoping for success, whoever this is. I feel like too, this could be someone, um, this could be for some of you, someone that you had a falling out with, right? A tower moment with. Could be a lot of different things. Could be a breakup, could be an argument. And as I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a lover. It could even be a mother figure there. But I also feel here, if this is not around love, okay, I feel like there's some good karma coming here with the Empress and the Justice. You got the uh, Four of Swords here and you have the Tower. I feel like there's an energy here, right? Maybe you've been spending some time alone, really thinking a lot about things, maybe how to rebuild in your situation, right? A stronger foundation. It could be around money, career. Some of you could here with the Empress and the uh, um, Justice. Some of you may be thinking about that could be the idea here, right? The idea that I'm seeing here that you may decide to start a business, okay? So this is showing me Empress can be an entrepreneur and the uh, Justice there, right? Um, getting that business license. Okay, so there's something around... Um, communication, clarity, possibly here, confession here from someone. But let's see, uh, interesting messages, Cancer. <laughs> okay, so there may be something, right, unexpected that happens, but it is divine intervention there with the tower. So it may be that uh, the divine here is forcing you to look at things from a different perspective here. And as we talked about here with uh, Leap of Faith, right forcing you maybe to do something new here and the wheel okay does look like things could definitely go in your favor and this is going to you know get things moving here and i didn't say here you have the ace of cups here as well okay so it's a new positive experience a new emotional experience can also be fulfilling romantic relationships and deep and lasting spiritual insights so that ace of cups there's something more fulfilling coming up for you cancer or something fulfilling coming up in your life. Let's see what the angel answers. Look at that. Abundance. Uh, yeah, something more fulfilling about to happen here for you. Beautiful. Okay, they have weight here. They want you to feel good about it. Make sure you have your clarity about whatever this is. Make sure you feel good in your heart about it is what that is saying. Don't rush. Okay, and take action, right? So that may be about making a decision to move forward with, 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 with whatever this is in your life. And you also have your communicate clearly. Okay, so whatever this is, there's some communication involved. Uh, maybe you need to find out more questions about it or if it's a particular person. They want you to, to feel good about this person here before you move forward and you take action. So I'm going to pull one card here from um, the Fairy of the Oracle, and then we'll read your message from Spirit. So let's see what Fairy of the Oracle message we have for Cancerian. Okay, we have moon energy. Cancerians are ruled by the moon here. Moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. All right, so let's see what else here. Don't let emotions create fears is part of that. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. You have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Beautiful energy there. 
And then we also have here your message from Spirit. It says, Dearest Cancerian, since you're on earth, you understand how buildings are built. Yes, a good solid foundation and yet flexibility too in case of earthquakes. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it is built from a solid base, whether it be an idea that takes from one step at a time or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation, dug, poured, and built. We want to remind you of this because you might need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly, as well as do a general site check to ensure your hard work is being well supported. Do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and solid foundation that will allow you to become, I'm sorry, that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come visit. We're so happy for you and so intrigued by what you're building, okay? So that's really interesting here because you had that tower there, right? And that's a foundation, a foundation that, you know, I feel like there is something here in your life that um, kind of fell apart here, it feels like, or didn't go good for a while. And now there's an opportunity here for you to rebuild that foundation. So beautiful energy here. Another, um, you know, welcome the many miracles waiting to visit. Okay. And you got magical blessings here. So I feel like there's good things coming in for you, Cancer. You got the abundance card as well. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.